Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. So I'm over in Braithwaite, Louisiana. Came all the way over here to this side of the river to scout out some stuff. We are going to fish, but we've got to travel down the levee a little bit. Come on, guys, let's get it done. In this bit of woods here, there's a network of ATV trails. Some I can see on the map and satellite and some I can't. Now, we're, we're here to scout out the river, but there's also some ponds and stuff in here. Supposedly, real close to where we're at are a series of small ones, and then there's a bigger one further up. I think I see one of the small ones. Very small. Not sure if this is technically one of the ponds that you can see in the satellite, on the satellite, but it's, it's holding water. It's probably a wash. Looks like there's water coming into it from the ground over there, like a little spring. Not very big, but you know, it could hold something in it big. It seems like where we're at around this tree, right in here, and over there is the deepest part. I only see micro species here. Could be something else, but. <laughs> Look at the alligator right there. We're gonna see a lot of them. I'm not sure if he's alive or not, but I'm going to say he's sleeping. Totally gonna give up on that little pond, if you wanna even call it a pond. It's really a puddle. Let's go find a bigger one. All right, this is one thing that we wanted to come take a look at. 78. So across the way is Shingle Point. And where we're standing is Shingle Point. It's on both sides of the river. I just happen to be on the east side. Now, this is a bend. Come over here. And we're pretty much at the tighter part of the bend. That's the lazy big part over there. So in theory, it should be deeper over here. Oh, well, let's say I found the pond. Seems like there's a chain of ponds, but this one here, which is real close to the one I just showed you, is very shallow. You see this game trail going through here? That is caused by alligators and some other things, no doubt. I'm gonna start off with the Cinco. I did bring other bits of tackle, but when I'm doing scouting stuff, I mostly just bring bass and panfish stuff. I did bring some white bass and skipjack things as well today. There's quite a bit of bait activity in here. I'm throwing this weightless on a size, I mean a, a three-aught Damagatsu offset worm hook. Lots of branches in here. All right, guys, I gave it a few casts here just to figure out this spot. We don't have a lot of time. It's going to be sunset in a couple hours, maybe three hours. So what I figured out here is what's busting the bait that is in here is mostly spotted gar, and it seems pretty shallow over here. Might be deeper somewhere else. But since I don't have tons of time, I want to check out some more spots. I think this spot will be better, closer to sunset anyway. But there's a lot of fish jumping out there. I've seen the mullet jumping out there. And I've seen a couple of things roll just further out where the wind is hitting the water. You can see that line right there. Don't know what kind of access we're going to get, but we need to scout that access out and catch a fish to make this a legit video. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Well, I got back here. Instead of wasting time with this spot, which looks fishable to a point, I see something else. I want to see how far this trail that I found will take me. You got to be careful back here. Well, I do because I keep coming across things that can give me flat tires. It seems like there was a history of dumping back here. Some of the uh, trails that come off the main trail have some dangerous things on them. Jagged metal coming up out of the stuff. Shoot. Wow. All right, back at the first spot I fished, but with a red wiggler this time, drop shot it on a size six Aberdeen. At first I thought this bit of water here was one of those uh, barrel pit ponds, 
but now that I realize it's actually connected to the river by a, what appears to be a dugout channel, I don't know. Maybe it sufficed as a harbor at one time. I don't know why I'm bothered, bothering. I'm not sure if this is going to be a video. There's definitely something feeding in here. Might have to just set the rod down and let nature take its course. Ooh. What do you know? Actually caught a fish all of a sudden. What do we got? I have a feeling you're going to be surprised. Hey, hey, hey. There's goo back here. Now somebody, I know that's no big surprise, but somebody asked me why I don't catch goo in the river when I'm fishing. Well, sometimes you do. Sometimes you just gotta find the right spot and we found it. Gasper goo. Gasper goo is freshwater drum if you never heard that word. Gasper goo, sometimes just goo for short. There is a, a limit, a size limit as well, but I'm not keeping goo right now. Well, cool. I thought this spot here would be better if we got close to sunset, which we surely are. As you can see through the trees there, it's going to go and it's going to go and it's going to be a while before it comes back up, which will be over there. So we're going to just fish this spot till it's dark. Maybe catch some more goo, maybe do a couple other things. I'm thinking small jigs might not do the bass thing, but yeah. Let's see how many more goo we can catch before it gets dark. Now, I've done all the scouting. Well, most of the scouting that's important, I've done. I don't know how much of that I'm going to show you, but I did find a really cool catfish spot, which we'll have to get some good catfish bait and come out to soon. Yep, little jigs, and we're breaking out the traditional avocado chartreuse. Let's find... I don't like that one. I like this one. I want to know what other fish are busting the bait here earlier i noticed a lot of spotted gar knocking bait off and now we know there's gasper goo this 1 16th ounce jig head with the chartreuse and red eyes should work good especially with this avocado chartreuse tube on here this is pretty shallow over here so we're going to start out with about almost two feet underneath the cork no less let's do let's go less like just a little over a foot here on this thill this pipe that we're standing on actually has current coming out of it this is really shallow we're going to take a few inches out of this Got one. Oh. Lift him into the deck. Look at that little spotted gar. It's that kind of place, huh? Nice hookup. Barely hooked up. These are like the best to go after when it's cold spotted gar if you're going to go after gar in winter that is spotted gar and short nose gar like colder temps they'll stay active in colder water opposed to alligator gar alligator gar want to be in the hot tub with you they do not like cold water alligator gar all right guys let's walk back into the light here well, I got the scouting done that I wanted to do. Found some cool spots for some future videos. Caught a couple of fish to make this a legit fishing video. And I mentioned some things that I didn't show because I decided that it would make the next videos more interesting because it would make this video more boring. Yeah, you're right. This scouting mission just turned into a nightmare. It is 7.15. I have been up on the landing since 10 to 6. Now, online, the schedule for this ferry runs up to midnight. There is no change, no notification that the schedule has changed, but apparently the ferry decided to stop running early today. <sighs> this is limbo week. It's not even New Year's Eve. This is Thursday night. So I'm stuck over here. I've been on the phone texting people. Anybody that could help me tonight is already deep into drinking. So 
Ugh. What to do? What to do? Well, there's only one thing to do, right? Fish. We're gonna be stuck here all night. Gonna need some caffeine. Luckily, that's available. It is a warm night, but there is a very cold air about. Ooh, people really like to drink here. God, it stinks. If I get really desperate, I can pour the juice out of that garbage can and probably get alcohol poisoning because my goodness. Maybe good news, maybe good news. Alex is sober, finally got back to me and he's gonna try and head out here. We're gonna see what we can do. It's a car, but I think we can do something. So that means I decided a while ago that I'm not gonna try to fish. I'm just gonna sit up here and wait for Alex. If it wasn't for Alex, we'd be fishing all night. Probably go back down here to where I caught that drum and that little spotted gar, but rather get home to the dogs. Here we go. Now we're going to stick all this stuff, the bike, I'm gonna probably take the front wheel off and all that, it's all compacted down. Yeah, you are right. So I don't know when I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna to have to be able to totally trust the ferry. I, I want to, cause I found some really good spots. But until then guys, thanks for watching and subscribing and I'll see you next time.